What's going on YouTube? Ali Dope. I'm checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial. Yes, sir. We got to take it back one time. Today we will create a collage style cover art. We'll take some of these images and create this collage style cover art using some images from Larry June. Numbers. <laughs> Now, if you don't want to listen to Larry June, please check him out. He's great motivational music, great productive music, and just great healthy lifestyle type of music, hustler music. Just check him out, man. I, I love Larry June, man. Big fan, big fan. But anyways, the collage art style is a very popular category on this channel. So I thought I'd take it back one time and do a couple this week. I'm gonna do this one and I got another one planned um, for a couple of days from now, so be on the lookout for that. Now, it's not too many updates this week. We're just gonna keep it relatively quick, simple. Let's get straight into the tutorial. I am working on a few new assets for you guys, and I'm working on my first actual course. So that should be exciting. So be on the lookout for that. That will be coming soon. Yes, sir. Without further ado, let's hop into the computer. We got a few pictures. I've been listening to like Larry June OD like for like heavy. I've been listening to Jared Larry June for a minute, but like heavy, like extra rotation for the past three years. It's, it's been nothing but big Larry on the screen. All right, so we got all these pictures of San Francisco stuff that relates to Larry June, stuff like that. We got the background and basically what we're going to do is make like one of them bootleg collage a cartoon oil painting covers so i don't know it's like a movie type uh i'm, I'm gonna call this one retro cover art part two or i'm thinking start off with something a little bit more mellow you kind of want to make them based on the artist and um what appeals to the artist and things like that so all right so we got our background i usually like working from the top down instead of the bottom up so we got to give it like a main image that's the car, that's Larry, that's Larry. I know for this one, I'm gonna use the, the thumb. I'm gonna say, good job. I'm gonna use that for his thumb. This one's pretty cool, it's pretty small though. This one's cool. And then we just got San Francisco. Boom. So we don't have too many pictures of actually Larry to work with. We got these three. So um, we want to keep it pretty simple. I need to find a main one of Larry for, to use at the top. I think I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use this one right here. Let's go. So pretty much grab this. We're gonna make it pretty big though. Rise, select subject. See if it gives us a good cut of Larry. It does. Command Shift I. We're gonna go ahead and delete everything. And now we're just gonna go ahead and cut out Larry's head. We just need Larry's head. Boom. Go ahead and rasterize it. Boom. Select subject. Now you want to fix, you can use the lasso tool. This plus adds a selection. Just want to add the t-shirt and stuff. For some reason they get picked up. Make sure everything else is good. Come, I'm cursing control, shift, I, delete. Select, convert to smart object. Now we got this right here. Boom, and I'm probably gonna find like the one more. This one is Mr. Big Phone, two phone Larry right here. Same thing, rasterize this. Select subject. Boom. 
control shift command I ah, delete 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 boom image of June I want to kind of get this ASC in there so main image of June probably gonna do this ASC that's a picture of an orange ASC that's one of June's cars if you no. You don't know, now you know. He always raps about the ASC McLaren, so I feel like it would have been right to put it on this right here. Select subject. Alright, so I just had to delete the window out of the car. But uh, just because I want it to look a little bit more clean, I'm going to create this new layer, make it a white layer, boom. I'm going to create this polygonal tool, that's just what I like to use. And I'm just going to go to shape of the outline of the window, try to put the window back. So you just take that, boom. Fill it with white, since it's on that other layer, boom, and then you just take the fill and put the fill down. That's gonna be the car. So boom, now we got this. Looks a little bit better. We got the head right here. We got the car on top of the head. Down there, probably put the car right here. Let's try to add like some more Larry in there. That underneath, go before the car, make it a little bit smaller. Um, that's pretty cool right there. Big cool and shit. And then we're gonna move that off to the side here. Or we can move it off to the inside, not come with the car to kind of be poking out on its own type of time. You know what I'm saying? So move that there, cut this over. You just gotta find the right spacing that works for you. So pretty much I'm gonna mess around with the spacing and then after I lay out all the pieces that we just picked, I'm gonna start adding some of the ancillary pieces. Now I'm gonna cut out, like I said, some of the background, things like that. So now I'm about to cut out the background. Like I said, I use the polygonal tool. Ain't nothing too crazy for this one. Pretty much just the easy part. This is pretty much laying out everything. After I lay out everything, that's when we're gonna get to the nitty gritty. I get you some good tea, man. <laughs> it keeps the the creative juices flowing. part of being a collage you feel stuff like that so yeah so now we got the oranges we want to kind of do something cool with the oranges let's just find a cool spot i don't know exactly what i want to do with them yet i knew i wanted to have oranges in them i just didn't know where i think over here is pretty cool grabbed a couple of pieces and comment down below if you guys want me to do like a black exploitation uh, retro elements pack as well I'm thinking about doing that I just don't know if you guys that's something you guys would want like a retro pack or something like that I think that'd be pretty cool for some of these stuff I'll be hating to look for it four or five times so I'm just about to make a pack so I don't have to look for it only but one time replace this orange put this orange is here I think that looks a little bit cleaner and it brings a little bit more unification into that one. And then we can move that. Uh, we can move that orange up there behind this one. Boom. 
so it's like a whole orange wave going on on this side and then we want to add a little bit of coolness to it so it's not it's not retro if you don't add something retro for my actual retro page so we got this car crash here uh june is big into the um cars and stuff like that so we definitely got to put like a big car crash in here i think that would be looking cool so we're gonna go ahead and right click convert to smart object go ahead we're gonna go ahead and just pretty much grab all pretty much that you can grab from that car scene All right, so what we're gonna do is use the same brush. You wanna just quickly find like a nice little grunge brush that's gonna give you that um, like grungy painted feel a little bit while we paint this um, edge. I'm gonna use like some fog type thing because it gives it the same effect. Go ahead and minimize it, boom, and then we're just gonna start. Chipping away, chipping away, and it gives it more of a more of a uh, painted feel rather than oh it was just brushed away type of thing, you know. So same thing, just kind of start erasing little pieces. Kind of like that setup. I'm not so sold on this image, so give me a second, I might change it. It fits a little bit better as well with the angle and stuff like that. If you have accessibility to multiple images, you know what I'm saying? Just use the one that's gonna fit for the angles and the, the geometry of the image. Like, don't force it. If it's not gonna fit, it's just not gonna fit. Like, just go find another image. Same thing, you just wanna take the neck part. that's a pretty good like layout for real for real so next we're gonna start working on just the coloring and the highlights so next is coloring and highlights after you got the basic layout let's get into coloring and the layouts and for this first i want to add some shadows so i'm just going to go in add a bunch of shadows to give it a little bit of separation on some of these spots so i'm going to start from the bottom up so make a new layer above the car layer i'm just call this one shadow because you just don't know B I'm gonna go ahead and pick a nice soft brush the flow's already at like 50 you want a nice round soft brush Boom. it's gonna be black because it's a shadow and then we're just gonna go ahead and start Everything that you want, make sure it has its own separate shadow layer, so it's not like you're getting uh, bamboozled. Um, turn the flow down a little bit more. Lock it all up. Create the main layer. Y'all know how I go. Create that main layer. and create a black and white layer create a mask on that nice little overlay to give it some separation and contrast bring it down a little bit Boom. we're gonna go ahead and add a gradient map we haven't bust out the gradient maps in a minute create the clipping mask open up your gradient maps like i said you can have all your type of packs things like that you gotta go with what you want to do 
I'm trying to go with an orange to bluish type of hue because I'm trying to stick with the orange type of vibe. So I'm just going to go to orange, see what they got. We're getting that. Then we're just going to play with the blending modes and see what we come up with. Now let's see that. That's interesting. Overlay is kind of the best one I'm getting. I'm going to put overlay on it. Turn it up a little bit. Chin. All right, you guys. So this is where it gets kind of tricky. So we got to start adding some like some like some smoke or some stuff in there to give it some sort of contrast not too much just a little bit like a little fall a little dust in the main image some highlights around his fingers around this car right here some separation right here I'm gonna add some highlights around there for June in here I'm gonna add some highlights on the knee on the arm right here on the outer arm and of course I'm gonna go with an orange yellow so you got to do that for each individual one and then all we're gonna do is paint white with the brush onto it. Boom, right here. So we're just gonna paint and we're gonna speed through this and get back with you. We're gonna add a little bit more like highlights and the finishing touches at the end. So this is pretty much the 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 gist of it. So you're gonna copy this, same thing, create all these back to clipping mask. We're gonna turn this into a smart object. Alright, so now what we're gonna do, we gotta add some detail into a filter camera raw. And then we're gonna focus on our area. For real, for real, we just need a lot of clarity for this one to give it that nice, bulky, separated look. 56. Go up to like 61. Then you go to detail, noise reduction. You just wanna smooth it out a little bit. Not too much, where it's like OD like that for now. Right now, we're just going to go a nice smooth pop, like a nine. Boom. Okay, so now we have it. Now you want to duplicate it again. Put this one on top. This one, we're going to go ahead and filter, stylize, or paint. Now for this, you're going to do a nice little semi-textured look. You don't want nothing too crazy stylized like that but you do want a lot of fraction so you want those painted looks to give it that oil paint look you want a, a nice little sh nice strokes cleanliness make sure the cleanliness is all, all the way up to the top scale make sure it's either small or big we're gonna go with like a medium here now with this the the oil painted image, we want to go in here and we're going to smudge everything. So you're going to have to rasterize it and start smudging. Start smudging in the hands, stuff like that. Now smudging might take a little long, so I'm going to fast forward through this. Make sure when you're smudging though, you're following the angle of the brush stroke, just like if you were painting an image to get the most realistic. Play around with your settings, like your, your, um, your strength. Make sure that's smooth. And 
you just want to smooth out everything. So I'm about to fast forward this while I go ahead and smooth out pretty much everything. If you want to be extra, that's pretty much me smoothing out everything. If you want to be extra, you don't have to be. Like I said, I have Topaz Labs. Topaz Studio, open it up. Just add this filter. You just go down to here. Go down to Impression. And it has a bunch of different type of paint strokes and things like that. So you guys don't have to do it. If you don't have it, you can definitely move forward with just the oil paint look. But the, the, the characteristics will be different. Now I'm about to add on the Topaz Lab because I do want that um, painted feeling, painted look. So pretty much all I did was use stroke type 1, medium, and I'm probably going to turn the brush, stro brush strokes um, right, right here. Turn the paint volume up a little bit. Then you got like this painted textured overlay. And pretty much what you're gonna do with this, create a smart object. And then you're gonna go ahead and just go over the top and play with the blending modes till you find something that you like. But what I did was I just turned on normal mode and I just kinda brought it down just a little bit. Because I still want that painted look, as you can see. But my problem with my paint is I need to go ahead and add some adjustments to my paint because it's not dark enough. So it's not hitting like I need it to hit. together and call this main two we're gonna take all these settings out of here put them on top create this clipping mask on there so we can get our background back create throw the throw the color lookup table that we picked at the beginning put that on see how it looks now Go back through everything, see if I found the one I might like a little better. All right, so now we have that. Have our main image numbers. <laughs> it's gonna say good job, Larry, down here. I just thought of that right now okay it was giving me a hard time for some reason all i did was edit uh took my text and convert it to a smart object edit transform warp and now i'm able to have the pins i don't know what was up with it before it was tripping. i just press shift i'm gonna press the numbers down to like right here down by the car make sure i just try to get a nice straight line same thing over here straight numbers straight line try to get as far as down if you want to be all extra specific just put a marker right here and grab it to the marker this is long as it's straight all right so we're going to use daytona from my pack we're just going to change some of the colors up we're going to go from a green a good green, so brighter green. up all these like I said are transferable 
or changeable, interchangeable, change colors, change whatever you need to change. Here we go. Now, after you do that, since it's already in the image, we got to right click and create a smart object again. Now we create a mask. Now you select your image, control, so you get this little box right here. Control, no control, control, boom. With that selected, you click this, then you just paint off and just delete what you don't. Which is just that part right there. Boom. Numbers, a good job. So we're gonna add a warp to it. We're gonna add, I think the flag or the rising. The rising looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go with that. The flag looks pretty cool too. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go with that. Now, all we're gonna do is add some finishing touches. We're gonna add some blings, we're gonna add some textures and things like that, just to give it that pop. Okay, so we're adding some textures. I went ahead, added like a paper texture. Like literally, I'm, I'm gonna multiply right now, but literally this is just a paper texture I found online. Like a dirty paper texture. <laughs> just to give it some like vinyl type of vibes. You know what I'm saying? Just take that, make that multiply. Boom, just bring it down a little bit so it's not so harsh. Right there is good. Add a little bit of grain. Just add some grain. You can find some grain online or create a new layer. Fill it with black, add noise to it. Right now I'm at overlay 80%. I'm gonna just turn that down a little bit. And that just brings some of the depth back. As you can see, it brings up some of the depth of the colors back. And then that's where you get that like that energy from. Gotta add a new layer, add some bling effects to it, so it just has some pop, and that's the, that's really about it. that trying to keep it simple give you a t-shirt feel retro feel mixed with cover art so it's all in one i hope that helped you in some way shape or form as always take it as a, a crumb of inspiration and just follow and just try it out try your pictures with your friends like i said try your own pictures and bring some style to your instagram collage I don't think collage is going, going anywhere anytime soon, so you better just hop on it and just try it out. 
just see how it works for you. Um, once again, keep hustling, keep creating. Most importantly, y'all, keep learning. Until next time, I'm checking out. Yes, sir.